19 wins and zero losses is the record the Brainerd softball team has put up heading into the final game of the regular season. It's an accomplishment on its own to have a perfect record, but it's who the Warriors have faced this year. Metro teams like Champlain Park, Coon Rapids, state-ranked teams like Centennial and Owatonna that make the spotless mark even more impressive. Today's finale was no exception. Brainerd was at home taking on Forest Lake, who entered the day sixth in the state in the Minnesota High School Fast Pitch Softball Coaches Association rankings and 14th in the state QRF ranks. Now, Brainerd is ninth in the state rankings, but in the QRF, they're all the way up to number two. Great matchup to close things out in the regular season. Starting off in the bottom of the fourth, we're scoreless, but Olivia Tauja is gonna change that. She turns on this ball and sends it over the left field fence for a two-run shot. Moving to the top of the sixth, Forest Lake rallying Grace for Chet, grounds one to the left side and finds grass. Ball gets mishandled and Sandy Ernst would score to make it a two to one game. That would be the score in the top of seventh with one out and a runner on second. Rangers looking to get her home to tie the game. Ball is grounded to short, bobbled, but Marin Sanoa with a heads up play fires it to third. Tough and close call, but Blue says out on the tag and then next batter up. Who else is more fitting to get the final on a perfect regular season than Olivia Tauges? 20 0 for Brainerd. Lots of winning for the Warriors this year. They take down Forest Lake two to one. What a way for the seniors on the Brainerd softball team to go out in the regular season. They now have two things to celebrate tonight, and then they'll focus in on the postseason. I don't think it's like sunk in yet. I'm sure I'll get home and it all all hit, and I graduate tonight. So it's just a lot, but it's super exciting, and wouldn't want to do it with anyone else. So proud of the kids. Uh, they deserve it. They've worked really hard. It hasn't come just from this year. It comes from years and years of practice, open gyms. Uh, everything they've done has led up to this, and I'm really proud of all of them. You know, that's a challenge, I think. You can be a little complacent, I think, if you're, you're 20 and 0. I've never been 20 and 0, so I don't know, but I think there could be a, a chance you could be a little complacent. But we need to refocus, and uh, kind of our mantra all year has been nobody will give us anything. we got to earn everything, and so that's going to be our mindset Monday in practice. All the hard work we've done and all the adversity we faced has really paid off for this moment, and... We were so mentally strong throughout all of the games, even if it was Fergus to Force Lake, we were the same mentality for both of them. Well, I think all of us are going in with the mindset that, yeah, we're 20 and 0, but also going into sections at 0-0, every team is. So we just need to come in with the mindset that we can beat anybody, but anybody can also beat us. So we just need to keep playing our game. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.